Hey folks, we're out here at the LA Auto Show and probably one of the more exciting exhibits is the Rivian Company. Now for 2020, they're going to launch a pickup truck, very capable in the off-road department. They feature obviously four-wheel drive, They'll be able to take a 45 degree incline, and thanks to a trick air suspension, they'll be able to ford three feet of water. These are some serious off-road vehicles. And that's not even the catch. The catch is they're all electric. They'll be able to run 400 miles on a charge, They'll hit 60 miles an hour in three seconds and 107 seconds. These are basically gonna be the Tesla of off-road vehicles and they've got the technology to back it up. Now you notice in the front here is actually a trunk. Those electric motors are up underneath by the axles. There's no V8 in the way like on a, say a Chevy. So that gives us a little extra locking storage. Now the front end styling is a little bit controversial. A few of the journalists have already kind of equated it to looking like Wally. -E. I kind of think it looks like a pair of old Etzel grills. But anyways, on a functional level though, this center light bar actually acts as a charging indicator. Kind of a neat thing, so you can kind of look outside and see if your truck's ready to go. So the nature of this drivetrain offers some interesting opportunities for storage. Like right here, you've got a full carpeted pass-through that goes the entire width of the bed. You can throw some surfboards, some golf clubs, tools, whatever. On top of that, this door that comes down actually can hold up to 350 pounds and serve as a step to get up on the roof or jump over the side of the bed or whatever you need to do. So even the tailgate on this thing's pretty slick. It's fully motorized, power opening and closing and it even goes down a whole 180 degrees, so you're not gonna have that huge shelf to lift things over while you're trying to load up the bed. Now behind that, the bed's fully lined with looks like some kind of composite, and it's lit, and thanks to that air suspension, there's even a hookup for onboard high pressure air. So it's kind of hard to jump in this thing the way they have the display set up, but the interior is just as impressive as its drivetrain. It's got a couple of basically touchscreen, almost like tablets on the dashboard. It is pretty much a luxury car for the off-road, and it's electric. Folks, this is the future.